So the other tables are for JR and Babe. Yeah, three different families fighting over the same child. I don't believe it's come to this, isn't it? Well, I'm glad I'm just a witness. I'm sorry, but I think you're going to be heartbroken when you lose. My heart's going to be just fine. I'm keeping ace. Saying it over and over again won't make it so. You're just prolonging the misery for all of us. Keep your voice down. Kevin, please don't do this, please. It's not too late. You can do the honorable thing and withdraw your claim. I couldn't agree more. I guess the rumors of your breakup are greatly exaggerated, huh? Oh, no, 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 I mean, we are broken up. I yeah, mean, right? No, we, we are. are broken yeah. up, but that doesn't mean that, uh... You know uh, what? Too much information, I'm sorry I asked. Yeah. So let's just forget that okay. and start again. Hi, I just wanted Hi. to know if my favorite author could sign my copy of her book. Oh, of course. I'm so glad you came. Oh, I'm sorry I came so late. No, it's okay. I, I appreciate the support. No, are you kidding me? When Marcy Walsh is very famous, I get to brag that I know her and I'll have the autograph to prove it. Everybody's going to be totally impressed, I'm sure. Yes, they will be. I'm glad to see you out of the hospital. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling much better. I'm Good. still a little tired, but I'm getting better by the day. Good. Good. Hey, uh, listen, any progress tracking down the driver that ran her over? I don't really heard anything about that. That's strange, because, you know, the, the night that it happened at the hospital, I told the cop that I saw the license plate of the car as it sped away. It was a Pennsylvania license plate, uh, first digits RX. Right. No, I, I did hear that. And so they weren't able to come up with anything? Uh, unfortunately, not yet. Can you hear me? Are you there? What's happening? I had him here before. I was able to try another channel. Steve, can I see you a minute? What's up, bro? Any word on that APB on Blair Kramer? Oh, Margaret, what's it say? Are you pregnant or not? I don't know yet. It's still... Oh, oh no, wait a second. Something's happening. Oh, yes. It says... Oh, my God. That's one big old Texas-sized sneeze. What, what in the hell are you doing here? Well, it's nice to see you too, Grandpa. You should be in court, giving support to your daddy in this custody hearing. I thought I was pretty clear about where I stand in this. I think what my father's doing is wrong. Your father needs you now. Are you a Buchanan or not? What's going on? Some interesting development. Kelly here told Kevin to withdraw his claim on my son, and I wholeheartedly uh -huh. agree. Well, that's excellent news. Especially in the light of the fact that uh, Kevin doesn't stand a snowball's chance in hell of winning this case. Hey, why don't we let the judge decide what's best for us? No, we both know what's best for the boy. It's not you, Buchanan. By the way, the boy's name is not Ace. You're right, it's James. The hell it is? That's the name his mother, Babe, gave him, so that's his name. It's Adam Chandler III, and as a Chandler, he needs to come home with us. Ace is my son. Don't even think about calling him a Buchanan. You people are nothing more than a ragtag bunch of Texas hicks. As far as Kramer's concerned, they give new meaning to the word lunatic. Oh, Adam, say that again, this time to my face. Well, what's it say, Margaret? Margaret, what does it say? It says I'm not pregnant.
please, anybody, can you hear me? Anybody out there? I am locked in a trunk of a car. Talk to the foreman at that construction site and the garage mechanic, but the uh, trail seems to have gone cold. All right, stay on. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm sure I will. I'm a nut for murder mysteries. And <laughs> the buzz on this one, it's a page turner. Oh, you gotta read it to find out. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Uh, to Nora, congratulations on your engagement to Daniel and best wishes for a long and happy marriage. Love, Marcy. Sweet. That's sweet. Hmm. Killing clue, huh? Let's see what this is. Family loyalty does not apply in this case. I see. <laughs> Family loyalty doesn't apply. No, not in this situation. In every situation. Mm. Loyalty to a Buchanan is everything. Well, how I see it, my father is trying to steal a child. Hell no. Kevin is the father of record. He is not aces. Don't give me that biological crap anymore. All, all I'm trying to say... All you're saying is bull. Kevin is the only father little ace has ever known. End of story. Now, you two, get the hell away from me. I don't feel well. Nigel, help me. Am I wrong? Uh, well, there's no question you have a firm grasp of the facts, Master Duke, but that doesn't mean your father doesn't need you on his side. Even if I completely disagree with it. I know what it's like to be asked to side with the Buchanans, even though the other side is clearly in the right. You've done that? More times than I can or care to remember. Why? Because I love this family, and I suspect you do too. So I'm supposed to support my father no matter what? I would never presume to tell you what to do, but I would like to point out that your father did raise you for a year. The first year of your life. It was terribly painful for him when Miss Leanne took you from him after he bonded with you, the way he's bonded with Master Ace. And now it looks as if history is about to repeat itself. And if that happens, your father's going to be an emotional freefall, desperately in need of someone to catch him. Go ahead, Adam. Insult the Kramers right to my face. Oh, Dorian. Every family, no matter how dysfunctional, has its exceptions, and you are that glorious exception. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is none of your business. Well, now when you insult the Kramers, you make it our business. Talking to you would be a waste of my breath, David. You continue to talk to me. Waste your breath, because if you waste your breath, you just might drop dead. <laughs> Adam, it isn't like you to be a coward. To go whispering behind people's backs. You don't walk away from confrontation. Why are you here? Surely you didn't come down here to watch me and JR win this case, which have no shadow of a doubt we will win. Adam Chandler III will be coming home to the Chandler Mansion, where he belongs. His name is James. Why don't we go see how Kelly's doing? Indeed. Excuse us. Yeah. My child is not the third anything. His name is James, and you'd be better off not counting your chickens until they're hatched. What a charming turn of phrase. How did it go again? Counting chickens oh, before... Oh, shut your damn face, JR. <laughs> you always had such a way with words. Are you looking for trouble? Because I will gladly give you some. Hey, you better watch your temper, Jamie, along with your tongue. This is a court of law. Well, it hasn't stopped you from shooting off your mouth, has it, Chandler? Everybody settle down. Judge is finishing up with the lawyers. The hearing starts in five minutes. No. This can't be. Damn you to hell! Parker, try to stay calm. No, calm! How can I be calm? The test is negative. I am not pregnant. 
That is all your fault, you impotent bastard! How is it my fault? I've done what you asked! Oh, no! No. You failed! This was supposed to be the night when we were gonna have our baby. We were able to conceive! Oh, okay. There's no other choice. What does that mean? What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? I am going to end your pathetic little existence. And Blair's. I am going to kill you both. We are here to determine who shall have custody of the minor child, Asa Buchanan II. Three separate parties are involved. Each will in turn present his or her case. First up is Kevin Buchanan, currently the child's legal father. He is represented by William Emerson. Mr. Emerson. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, personal note, if I might, Your Honor. And Mr. Buchanan is as honorable and caring a man as it has ever been my pleasure to know, let alone represent. That said, we call our first witness Kelly Kramer. just was sitting here minding my own business. And I happened to accidentally turn 125 pages ahead, just totally by accident. And when I did, my finger ran down the page and landed on the name of the killer. I can't believe it. Wait, 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 wait. Marcy's book. Look at Nora, Nora. I, I, I thought you were talking about real life stuff here. You know, the Paul Kramer case. Oh, oh no. I wish I was. I got five calls from the mayor's office today. Breathing down our necks, they want us to make an arrest in this case, and the actual murderer this time. Yeah, yeah, and no, I, I got a couple of calls from the mayor myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm wondering if I should ask him to maybe remove Bo from the case, hire a special investigator what? or something. What would you do that? Don't do that. Don't do that. You know what we should be doing? We're two intelligent people. We should put our heads together and try and solve this case on our own. You not only didn't give me a baby, you lied to me. Just like you have lied to me from the very moment that I met you. You never cared about me. You just wanted dirt on Kevin Buchanan. That was so long ago. No, but you keep on doing it even now. Just look what I have done for you. I brought you here to this beautiful cabin. I have cooked you meals. I have taken care of you. I have fed your ego. And what have you done for me in return? Huh? You have insulted me, and you have attacked me, and you have tried to escape. Yeah, but that's our relationship. We have these little disagreements, and then we make up. Oh. It's, it's exciting. Oh, yes. Well, maybe for you. But for me, it is torture. You know, all I do is I, I give, and I give, and I give, and you take, and you take, and you take, and I am sick of it. Listen, you, you just... You're in a bad frame of mind right now. You're just disappointed that you didn't get pregnant, and, and who can blame you? But you mustn't let that destroy what we have. <gasps> what we have? No, we have nothing. Zilch! Zero! <laughs> Zed! Because you are useless. You can't even do one simple thing and give me a baby. This is our first time, though, right? Let's do it again. We can't give up now. No, 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 no. I've had enough of that. No. 
I am not going to be fertile for another four weeks. Oh, what does that mean? Hmm. Uh, 28 days of agonizing. What? Oh, cooking you meals and, and, and sponge baths. No, that just makes me exhausted thinking about it. Well, then you need to get some rest. I need time to clear your head. Now, you know what? I don't need any rest. I need to get rid of you. All right. Okay, Margaret, just put the gun down for a second. Just a second. I, I think I get it now. I think I've been a burden to you. And, and it, yeah, and a disappointment. So the thing to do would be to just, just let me go and tell me where Blair is and I will get out of here and I will get out of your hair. Oh, yes. That is a brilliant idea. Why didn't I think of that? Margaret, I promise you, I promise you I will not press charges against you. No, 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 no. save it. Save it, Todd. Blair again. Hello? Hello, somebody there? Blair, it's Bo Buchanan. Blair! Oh my God, Bo, it's me. I'm, I'm, I need help. Todd needs help, oh my God. Where are you? I want you to calm down and tell me where you are. <laughs> Ms. Kramer, does Kevin Buchanan love his son? Objection, Your Honor. Whose son he is is yet to be determined. Sustained. Rephrase, Counselor. Does Mr. Buchanan love the child in question, the baby that you and he named Ace Buchanan? Yes. Did he provide, and is he capable of continuing to provide a happy, loving home for the child? Yes. Ms. Kramer, do you consider Kevin Buchanan to be a good father? He's a wonderful father. Was he in any way aware? Did Mr. Buchanan have any knowledge that Ace was not his biological son? Not at first, no. Then he was deceived. We both were, actually. Uh, how were you deceived, Ms. Kramer? I was led to believe that the woman who gave birth to Ace didn't want him. Just so that we're all clear about this, uh, Mr. Buchanan didn't even know that much, did he? No. The fact is, you told him that the boy was his biological son. Is that not so, Ms. Kramer? Yes, that's what I led him to believe. And did he rely on that information? Yes. And loved that child as if he were his own? Yes. And still does? Yes, but I, I'd like now to... That's all, Ms. Kramer. Thank you. Nothing more, Your Honor? Cross-examine. Thank you, Your Honor. I only have one question for the witness. Miss Kramer, to whom do you believe custody should be awarded? I object, Your Honor. Her opinion is irrelevant. Overruled. He belongs with his mother, Babe Chandler. Blair, are you there? Yeah, yeah, but I'm here now. I'm in a car. I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a truck. I'm locked in a truck. Oh, it's cold. I'm tired. Where's the car? Blair? I don't know. It's in a garage. 
You gotta help me. You gotta listen to me. You gotta, you gotta get Todd. He's, he's tied up. She, she has him tied in a cab. Where's he tied up? A cab? I, he, no, a, a cabin. He's, she got elected in a cabin in, 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 in the mountains. He, it's crazy, Margaret. Oh, I told you. I told you she had him. Please, Bo. Where is he? Where's the cabin? I don't know. It's, it's, it's up in the mountains on the old route. Are you still there? Bo! 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 Are you still there? Blair! Margaret, you can do whatever you want with me. But you have to let Blair go. She's a mother. Her kids need her now. Obviously, you want to be a mother so you can imagine what it's like to want to be with your children. The unmitigated call. How dare you ask me for a favor? It's not for me, it's for Blair. I don't care if it's for the man on the moon. You are in no position to ask me to have compassion. I just... Did you have compassion when you used me to get information about Kevin Buchanan? Or when you seduced me into falling in love with you? Did you ever for one moment think about the consequences of your cruel behavior? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. You are reaping what you sowed. And maybe next time, oh, if there is a next time, you will think of something other than your own selfish life. Where, where, where are you going? I'm going to make sure that Blair gets exactly what she deserves. Miss Kramer. Nothing further. Miss Pace. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I definitely have questions for this witness. Miss Kramer, isn't it true that you and Kevin Buchanan were in cahoots with your brother Paul? That the three of you plotted to steal a child that didn't belong to you? No, that is absolutely false. You're under oath, Miss. Now, wait. The, 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 this attorney is totally out of line. Sit down and keep quiet. But I'm sorry, Your Honor. She is badgering the witness. Yeah, this isn't helping. Bailiff, if there's one more word out of that woman, you will remove her from this court. Let's take this opportunity to sit. <clears throat> Miss Kramer, why aren't you pursuing custody? Because I'm not his mother. No more than Kevin Buchanan is his father. I object, Your Honor. I move that last remark be stricken. Withdrawn. I have nothing further. You may step down, Miss Kramer. I can get my butt kicked here, do something. Do you have business in this court, young man? Yes, ma'am, I do. My name is Duke Buchanan. I'm Kevin Buchanan's son. And I'd like to say a few words on his behalf. No, it's seriously, this is this has been just a good old-fashioned inspiration. I, no, 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 forget it. Why? Why? Why wouldn't we why we wouldn't take advantage of an inspiration? Why couldn't we come up with the murderer? I, I mean Marcy Walsh did. I, I know, but but that that that's fiction. So? Hey, this is part of my epiphany, you know? The epiphany is you've got to start thinking creatively. That's what the problem is. We're not thinking creatively. You have to do that, whether it's solving something in fiction or is an that, actual is that, case. Is Matthew's fever beating to affect you, too? It's... What? Ha, ha, ha. Matthew doesn't have his fever anymore. Other than that, I wouldn't be here, first of all. And second of all, don't mock me. You know I'm trying to save you from the mayor's office. Okay, uh, fine. Okay, great, Sherlock. Yeah, tell me, tell me what you got, baby. Come on. All right. All right. We've got a, we've got a few things here. First of all, we know that the murderer had an intimate 
knowledge of Jen and Rex's relationship, right? Okay. And two, the murderer had an extra $10,000 lying around they could spare. And three, the murderer also had knowledge of those hospital surveillance tapes. Could have been anybody. Oh, no, it couldn't have been. How many people know Jen and Rex's relationship, have the means to throw $10,000 away, and also have access to confidential LPD files? Hmm? You do. Well, so do you. You know, too bad neither one of us had a motive to want Paul Kramer dead. Hmm. Damn that pesky motive business. Yeah, damn that pesky motive. You know, it's a shame that you also can't turn to the page in there that tells you who killed Paul Kramer. Uh, where the hell? Oh, Gesundheit. Uh, I assume you were trying to refer to your master, Duke? Yeah. Where the hell is he upstairs in his room, pouting? <laughs> I shouldn't think so, sir. You spoke so eloquently earlier. I can't help but think you got through to him. I'll be damned. I will be damned. <laughs> do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. The court will listen to your statements, young man. Yeah, there's a lot to say, so I'm not sure where to start. We would very much appreciate brevity, Mr. Buchanan. Oh, uh, yes, okay. Uh, well, it's uh, just that I love my father uh, very much. And uh, even though we don't always agree on everything, we do agree on family. To my dad, uh, the most important thing in the world is family. And, well, it's like the way with all the Buchanans. I mean, ask anyone in Landview and they will tell you how tight our family is. My great granddad instilled that in all of us. The family comes first. And knowing that, uh, knowing that there are all these people there for you, loving you no matter what, it's a pretty special feeling. One that every child should be lucky enough to have. Your Honor, please. Okay, let's finish it up. Yes, ma'am. I'm proud to be a Buchanan. But most especially, I'm proud to be Kevin Buchanan's son. That's all I got, Judge. Would any of the attorneys care to question this young man? No, Your Honor. Not at this time. I have a question for Mr. Buchanan. That was a good and obviously heartfelt speech, but can you offer this court one reason why your father should be granted custody of Adam Chandler III when his biological father is sitting right here? That's not my call. Then the answer is no. You can't give us a reason. I'm just here to tell it like it is, okay? What it's like being Kevin Buchanan's son, and that's what I did. I have nothing further. You may step down, Mr. Buchanan. Mr. Emerson, you may call your next witness. Kevin Buchanan. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I can't wait to see if his nose starts to grow. I do. Mr. Buchanan, you believed Ace to be your son from the beginning, did you not? Yes, I did. Because you believed you were his biological father. That's right. But now you know that's not the case. Hasn't changed a thing. Ace is still my son. In my heart, he always will be. In spite of what the paternity test says, he's mine. I love him very much, and he belongs with me. If the worst happens and Ace is taken from you, what do you imagine will happen to him? I object, Your Honor. I'm going to allow him to answer. Thank you. Uh, I don't have to imagine. I know what will happen. He'll be put smack in the middle of a war again. A battle between J.R. and Babe. She already kidnapped him once. I can't imagine what it must have been like for him 
to start his life as a defenseless victim. What Ace needs, what any baby needs, is a happy and loving family. Above all, a safe and stable environment. I can give him that. I will give him that. And more. I look around the court, and aside from my son, Duke, and one or two others, Kelly Kramer and I are the only ones here that have Ace's best interest at heart. I have no further questions, Your Honor. <clears throat> Cross-examine? Mr. Buchanan, are you James's biological father? I, I thought we already... Yes, sir. No, sir. No. What were the results from the court-ordered DNA test performed on Ms. Carrie and James? Uh, well, it's true that uh, J.R. and Babe are Ace's biological parents. Thank you, Mr. Buchanan. One more question. To your knowledge, did Ms. Carey ever willingly abandon her son, James? What she did... Was... Yes or no, Mr. Buchanan? No. Thank you. I am finished with this witness. Ms. Pace? Mr. Buchanan, when you found out Ms. Kramer wasn't Adam's biological mother, what did you do? What did I do? What action did you take? Was your first thought to find the real parents? Did you make any attempt to do that? No, I, I did not. And so you seriously want this court to believe that you actually give a damn about that baby's best interests? Get back in here. We can work this out. Let's talk it through. Just, you need to give me another chance. This is goodbye, Todd. What? Oh. Arriba, Derchi. Au revoir. Hasta la vista. No, you can't go, Margaret. You can't, you can't leave me tied up like this. Of course not. I would never do that. That's right, because you're a good person, you're a kind person, so you're going to untie me. Well, not exactly. You see, in a very, very short amount of time, your being tied up isn't going to be an issue. Why is that? Because I am a very compassionate person, after all. You see... Is going to put you out of your misery once and for all. Oh, Margaret. Margaret, don't do it. What? Well, you want to be free, don't you? Well, this will give you the ultimate freedom. Margaret, please. It's a shame things didn't work out differently between you and me. But I did want you to know that even though we didn't always see eye to eye on things, that I truly did care about you. Sorry, but I did. Sorry, but I love you. Margaret. No. Margaret, don't go. <laughs> Margaret. Margaret, come back here. The idea that not looking for the baby's parents means that I don't give a damn is Thank ridiculous. You. It has nothing to do with the other. You listen to me. I love my son more I than anything have in the world. You're on. You may step down, down, Mr. Buchanan. No, I have something to say. You're... Step down. I like Chandler's lawyer. I don't. I do. Ms. Pace? 
Are you prepared to present your case? Very much so, Your Honor. Then call your first witness. Kendall Hart. Blair, you there? Blair! Damn it. Try to get her back, okay? Commissioner. Did you hear what she said about the accident? I can't talk right now, Marcy. Well, I mean, this could be important. The, the woman she's talking about could be the same woman that hit Marcy. Okay, thanks. But right now, our priority is to save Blair's life. Where to do that is to find Todd. Are you prepared to stand by your statement that there was no kidnapping? Come on, Todd, you can get out of this. I'm gonna kill you, 